What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and uh, it looks like every now and then we hear about an exposed uh, elastic search insecure unsecure insecure server database server that is left users information exposed and, and and ready to to pluck for anyone i i didn't make a video about elastic search in general but it looks like it's very easy to spin up one and just store stuff in this uh, cluster and then you can do searches so that's why it is very attractive for people to spin up an elastic search server and you don't have to put a back end or anything the database is your back end and you just expose it directly as a result we see a lot of these uh, incidents along with mongodb as well clusters where it's just exposed to the public internet because it's just easier right and instead of having me to build an express server having to build a django server having to build your own c sharp or whatever server on top of your database hiding your database and building in a proper API, just expose the whole Elastic server. And, and, and that's what's happening. Here's another incident where a leaky server exposed users of dating website. And I'm going to leave the article below for you to read. But in general, what, here's what happened. Um, all of a sudden, uh, some researchers from VPN Mentor found uh, an Elastic search server with exposed users data. And that belongs to push notifications. So guys, push notification is is a is a way for for users uh, for companies to push uh, notifications to users directly. However, if the user is not online, the notification will not be received, right? And that's why we have an Apple notification server and Android and Google notification server where you you as a server push your content to that service and when the user is online whether they're using apple service or, or android or blackberry if you're into these things yet they will be pushed from the uh, uh, from the cloud from the apple or android into that stuff however to test this is very complex so i understand that someone want to have some sort of a third party repository to test that their notification works and I, I i imagine that someone want to do that and that's exactly what happened so they spun up a an elastic search server and they pushed their notification to that elastic search server and guess what when we test what do we do we turn on debugging so we try to push as much garbage data as possible so we know we make sure that uh, things are working and those guys essentially published a whole json object not just by the notification and their IP and other stuff, which are harmless, but the actual JSON object. I am a nice, sweet, calm, and elegant lady. I got all the hobbies. I love knitting. So the the poor poor users' data are, are being exposed, right? And I'm going to blur this side because apparently ZNet did not blur the the birth birthday and all that stuff here so i'm gonna blow this out guys but yeah that all the information are are, are actually here which is kind of kind of sucks the password not the password but the, the authentication keys auth keys all that stuff user information it's all there that what do we learn from this article guys testing is good it's just testing it publicly is pretty bad right I, to me, I would have done the same thing. I would have, to test something really quick, really dirty, I would have spin up an Elasticsearch server and dump my stuff there. But I would do it on, on, a, on a dumb data, no real data, not actual production data. So it looks like that's an honest mistake that happens. You switch from, maybe you tested on, on test data, but you switch it to production, but you forgot to remove the code that pushes to the Elasticsearch log data, All right? This is just a lesson for all of us to avoid these kind of incidents. All right, guys, I'm not going to make this video any longer. I think there is a lesson to learn here. First of all, don't don't expose your uh, pub, uh, your Elasticsearch. If you want to have Elasticsearch publicly accessible, try to do it behind an API, and that API is also authenticated. Obviously, this API, the Elasticsearch cluster, was didn't have any password. Right, so that's that's the ma major problem. If you do it with a password, 
you might be forgiven the fact that it's exposed the port is open for anyone to connect to that's not also acceptable so have it like obviously i'm against the idea of logging in general but some people have to do it right for for marketing reasons or whatever but yeah it is what it is all right guys i gotta see you on the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye